Hola a todos y a todas. Eh, os saludo desde TUI, desde Playdoc, el Festival Internacional de Cine. My name is Ángel Sánchez. I'm co-director with Sara García of Playdoc, TUI International Film Festival in Galicia, Spain. In another year from the festival, we want to organize a series of meetings to open a debate on questions that we think are interesting. And in this edition, we propose you a series of roundtables And we have the honor to have the participation of some of experts and professionals who we really admire. We would like to thank them all for their generosity and for accepting this invitation. Manuel, Mariano, Adrian, thank you so much. And we also want to thank our friend, collaborator, and admire colleague, Roger Coza, who will be in charge of hosting these talks. Roger, it's all yours. I hope you enjoy it. Disfrutadlo y muchísimas gracias de nuevo. Ok, gracias Ángel, muchas gracias por tus palabras. Gracias al Playdoc por permitirme trabajar con ustedes en esta sección tan particular. Um, and now I will switch to English. I was just thanking Ángel for the opportunity to be organizing and um, trying to understand the cinema nowadays. The whole idea is always to be thinking what is cinema after all. And, um, and for this case, for this, for this round table, it's truly a privilege, first of all, to have one of the, who I, I consider my mentor, someone who I truly admire, who is Adrian Martin. Adrian Martin is uh, a film critic, an audiovisual essayist based in Spain nowadays, even though that he has not yet learned Spanish, he will sooner or later, an adjunct professor of film and screen studies in Monash University from Australia. He, is, he has been born in Australia, of course, and he's the author of nine books, including Filmmakers Thinking, Mysteries of Cinema, and, um, and uh, Misancene and Film Style, amongst others. You could read him uh, in his uh, own webpage, which is filmcredit.com dot au, y, uh, a, a, u. it would be Australia, right? So uh, for me, it's truly a privilege to, to have you on, on board, Adrian, and uh, thank you so much for being here. Now I will introduce the other members of the panel. And uh, the other members of the panel are, on one hand, Manuel Asin, who is, uh, again, someone who I truly admire. He has been working as an editor sometimes, sometimes as, as a programmer. He nowadays is in, in charge of, um, of, um, of the, for me, one of the most interesting and uh, cutting edge film festival, which is the Punto de Vista. He has begun working there as an artistic director. He has been programming in other places, but I think that is the main place nowadays in which you could see his brilliancy. At the same time, he has been editing books. He has been uh, writing and publishing in Traffic, Lumiere, Caiman. And uh, I have never forgotten that he was the one who allows me to read things about Jean Maristro and the new Hewlett in Spanish, because he was working on that also. On the other hand, and thank you so much, uh, Manuel, for being here. It's a privilege to have you here. And on the and the th and the third one of the table, it's uh, one of the most uh, <laughs> uh, most important leading figure in Latin American cinema. But I would I can imagine him to the world cinema, and he is Ma Mariano Chinas. You know he has done one of the most ambitious and playful film have ever done, which is La Flor. He has been uh, working in cinema since the beginning of this century. He has also been one of the most prominent figures in the independent cinema in Argentina. Uh, he has created uh, a, a kind of, of, it's not a company, it's something more than a company. It's a, a people working in, in, a, in a spiritual cinema way, so to, so to speak, who is El Pampero which has been produced in films, not only his own films, also films by Alejo Mogilansky, Laura Citarella, and, uh, and recently Agustin Mindalasi. But um, he has been especially known as a filmmaker. La Flor is his last 
big film. He has been doing a, a couple of films lately also. And also he, he has been extremely known at the beginning of the 2008, in fact, with Historias Extraordinarias. Uh, it's again a big pleasure and a privilege to have you here. But we are about to talk, uh, uh, it, it could be strange, about teaching or not only teaching how films are being shaped around the world. And uh, Mariano, Manuel and Adrian had been engaged in teaching <clears throat> in, different, from, in different institutions. And, uh, and, but at the same time, they, they are not only teaching, they're in one hand, Mariano is doing films, he's making films. Manuel is researching what is going on around cinema and therefore uh, selecting films in order to propose something about contemporary cinema. And, and Adrian, he's also teaching, but at the same time, he's a thinker. And, and, and truly, I think that is the proper way. Well, it's not only a film critic, it's a thinker. So the idea is to, to explore what I had been, uh, let me in this case rate in order to be proper, more precise. Uh, the, the title of our, of our round table in Spanish is La Fabrica de Películas, el, in, el Invisible Tallado del Cine Contemporáneo. In English, it's a kind of, of, traduction, of uh, tra transition to English. The, the translation is, I think it's okay. Film factories, the invisible carving of contemporary cinema. And then there is a small text which introduced the, the round table and I like to read it a little bit. It's such a small um, sentence which is the, the proliferation of film laboratories within festivals is a phenomenon that is not entirely recent, but is becoming more and more universal. What does this say about contemporary cinema? What is learned in these spaces of inspiration and pre-production? Why has a vocabulary and a set of practice become established? When did the word pitching become an ubiquitous word in the mouth of filmmakers? So this will be the, the picture to have in mind. And from now on, I would like to start. So let's start. I don't know how do you see this, but um, even though that there are different agencies of learning for filmmakers, there's, it seems to be there is a common ground to them and to the institutions who are behind it. Sometimes it could be useful in the sense that there is a sense of community and I would say a global community. But at the same time, we could easily see that there's, there's certain kind of styles, there's certain kind of patterns which are being repeated in, 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 in terms of poetics, in terms of topics, and not only in terms of poetic and topics, in terms of distribution and exhibition, because it's a whole factory, as I try to imply, in the sense that if you put attention towards the phenomenon, you see that a film began, begins in an in a, in atelier, from the atelier goes to a festival, from the festival goes to certain uh, other festivals, from the other festival it goes to certain kind of um, platforms. And among, among all these processes, especially when the film begins being watched, certain kind of film critics write about them. And it's a, it's a kind of circle, or a kind of close community sometimes, I would say. So I think there is something which is not okay in that. I, there's something which is not there is something wrong in that. I, I don't know how do you perceive that as my point of view, but this will be the, the kicking star. So whoever wants to say something is absolutely welcome. Maybe Adrian. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, kick in with a few preliminary thoughts maybe to get us going because, yeah. I mean, I, I share very much your your sense, your intuition of these things, Roger, and, and you know, to give it just a, a, a little bit of historical perspective, uh, there's no doubt that, that Sundance, the Sundance Festival, 
and the Sundance Lab, you know, the Sundance Laboratories. That's kind of the, the, the contemporary model of, of how this gets done and really was the start of the, of the proliferation of it. And uh, I think with the Sundance model, that's a very clear example of what you're saying, Roger, that mm. Sundance tends to uh, like a certain kind of film. It tends to, uh, it tends to privilege a certain kind of film. What is that kind of film? Let, let me have a go at it. Uh, drama, humanist drama, emotional drama of a family, family members who meet at Christmas or holidays or Easter. There are the personal problems, the, the, the generations, parents and children. Uh, there may be lifestyle clashes uh, between members of the family. They have their dinner, their meal, their party, their outing. Now, I've seen literally a hundred films from Sundance with the Sundance kind of stamp that that have this sort of very comfortable, uh, very sanitized kind of model of of humanist drama. Nothing very challenging on the formal level fairly classical with a few little modern touches around the edges. Uh, films that are usually very good for actors and are sometimes written and directed by actors, kind of moving from acting into other things. Sundance has, has, has really you know, promoted that kind of thing, I guess, because of, at the very start, Robert Redford himself is a model of this, of an actor who became mm -hmm. a, a director and so on. Uh, and that sort of put everything in this very traditional sort of psychological, dramatic, comic form. And so that's Sundance. Now, of course, not all film festivals in the world follow the, the ethos or the aesthetics of, of Sundance. But what's, what's happened in the years since is that, as you're indicating, Roger, we all know that there's so much competition between the festivals to get films. To, to get certain directors, to get in certain hot titles, to get, you know, certain trends. And at a certain point, it became clear that for a festival to have a lab, to have an atelier, is one way to absolutely guarantee that, that mm -hmm. you're going to get that film. Because you have a piece of that film, you're invested in that film. It's, a, it's in some sense a co-production kind of aspect to it. And there's no question that the labs bring good things. It's that collective global aspect that you're talking about, Roger. It creates a network. I mean, if I'm, if I was a filmmaker and I was in a lab, I'd meet people from all over the world. I would meet some top filmmakers. I would meet distributors, exhibitors. I would meet teachers. You know, I, critics. Now, all of that's to the good. You know, they, at that level, it's fine. It can't be criticised. Where it can be maybe criticised or at least discussed is in this idea that you're putting forward, Roger, that is there a sameness or several brands of sameness? Is there, you know, a Sundance film, a Rotterdam Locarno kind of film? Is there, you know, are there, is there a Buffisi kind of film? Is, is, are there certain sort of types of cinema that are kind of getting not enforced because no one can really enforce anything, but but uh, is there a kind of a, a tacit uh, uh, sort of silent pressure to kind of work within, you know, certain kinds of formulas, formulas of the art cinema, uh, of festival cinema? You know, we've all heard this phrase that we probably all hate, the festival film. You know, the film that is for the festival circuit, no longer the commercial circuit. I mean, I hate these kind of labels, right? But there's no doubt that the, the labs are part of this construction mm -hmm. of a festival film or a certain particular type of festival film. And, you know, I can only imagine that filmmakers in some sense feel they have to play the game in order to get their work done and to order to get the, in order to get their work shown. And on the other hand, they must, part of them must resist this game, you know, they must hate this game of, you know, trying to make your work acceptable according to a certain formula. So I just throw that out on the table and let's see what responses we mm -hmm. get. 
How do you see uh, Mariano or Manuel? Well, go Mariano, please. Como quieras. Well, uh, vale. well I, I find uh, extremely interesting the, the description made by Professor Martin of the whole game. It's the first time that I th that takes me to think that Sundance was the beginning of it all. It, uh, it was something that was extremely evident, but it's the first time that I, that, that I think of it. But of course, it's been Sundance all the time, this model. Everybody, everybody outside this, this kind of, of bubble of cinema, when they think of, when I when I mean the bubble, I mean the bubble we are included into, right? The the people who are engaged with the picture, uh, independent picture industry or whatever, it's not an industry or what, but outside that, people who believe that they are interested in cinema, but they are not. They use Sundance as a model, I think. It, it, it was quite evident. Uh, and, but this is the first time that I, I, I see it so clearly exposed. It's Sundance. It's always been Sundance. We always pre we, we, we've always preferred Butch Cassidy, right? We, the, 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 from the other side, but they have chosen Sundance. But the point is, I, I, I'm uh, interested in, in, in perhaps a, a little detour and is is it's it's this is we are are we uh, speaking about a current phenomena or not it has not changed after the pandemic all this situation about the festival are we are we still at the top of the festival era in the story of cinema is is the is the festival realm still on or not because that that would be something interesting to discuss. Also, I think mm -hmm. I think that the all the pitching situation is just one of the tricks that the festival system has invented to keep on moving and keep on uh, getting the money. Right to to the, the the main situation was well once that cinema is not what it used to be, the the, the main attraction for everybody. Well, how can can we still get money for the pictures to be seen, for the pictures to be made? For the, I, I think that it just it's just a trick the, of, of survival. I think, and the festivals, in my opinion, went after that. They, they are a response of how can we still make pictures being as expensive as they are uh, compared to every other form of art because they are still expensive in some cases. And how can we uh, keep on doing that with money from here and there, money from the national states, money from the district? I don't know, but how can we convince people to keep on putting their money into something that nobody seems to care as they used to? So in, in, in that way, I think that, that the pitching situation is something that can be improved, but it belongs to a but it belonged to a, 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 some kind of a, a, a survival plan for cinema. And I'm questioning if that situation is still on, if, if festivals are going to be the main platform for independent cinema in the following days or not. What do you believe? You, you believe that that's something that is still on or we are, we are experiencing the some cracks in that wall Be because of the platforms you mean or because of, because uh, of everything. the whole situation because, because of mm -hmm. a cycle that it has completed of course because of the platform mm -hmm. because of the platform cinema it's like coming back to be something extremely popular no mm -hmm. uh, the people are, are the, i mean the platforms have, have given a, a final push to the cinema, into the people's houses and everything. And I believe but, that at, at the same time, because of the right in every, because of some, mm. some kind of, of, of a right cycle, which uh, questions the money that is being invested for cinema and not only here in Buenos Aires, which is 
extremely remarkable, in, especially in the last month, right? That everybody seemed to be uh, concerned about how their money is spent in the the, the, the money of the of their taxes is spent in making pictures that nobody sees, right? But but I believe that that could be a a, a general situation all around the world because they are right. In a way, they are right. If you, if, if only, if you are interested in that your money, the money from your taxes, uh, comes back to you in a in a touchable way. Well, cinema for most of the people is not. They say my money is spent in things that I uh, that nobody sees. They mean they they don't see it. So it's a problem. It's something that we we, we manage to keep on happening, but. It's, it's fragile, I think. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me add something yes. in order to, to improve uh, the whole, Manuel. Yes. We can just add what Adrian has said about Sundance. If Mariano is right, let's think maybe he's half right, half not, maybe. We have to add that there is also platforms nowadays which are shaping cinema. We can think on Netflix on one hand, who produce films also. And we could also think even a movie, which is the right, the right home maybe. But still, they, they shape some idea of cinema. So just to add about yes. what Adrian has said. Sorry for the interruption. No, no, it's, it's very interesting. And of course, all, all <laughs> that you bring to us, Mariano, and, and also Adrian, um, I was just thinking even about the title of the of the round table, this very interesting and precise word of carving, carving, and it, it came to my mind uh, like kind of classic difference in sculpture, in the <laughs> theory or poetics or praxis of the sculpture, which is very important in the sculpture because it, it brings a kind of uh, even aesthetic or philosophical even uh, difference, which is the difference between carving which of course is related to stone and wood and so on, and modeling or shaping, as you say. Modeling, it's more related to uh, clay, for example. No? And the difference, of course, as you understand, is that in curving, you put some, some parts out of the, of the piece, out of the work, and you separate some, some pieces and you, you, you keep other pieces. And in modeling, you keep all the material you don't uh, put some uh, parts uh, apart and, uh, and you just shape the, the material. And I think it's also very interesting thinking about the, that, that those, those things that go uh, out, of the, out of the system that never uh, comes again, because I think it's more maybe a, a question also, of course, also of, of modeling, uh, but it's also a question of uh, carving that uh, there are filters uh, it's, uh, they are like uh, systems of, of filtering some things and not others. And there is a lot of things that never never come to the, to the surface. And, and yes, I, I think this is also an important question when we think about uh, this, because of course, uh, this is related with this kind of uh, global taste or global interests that uh, that are the, the the main concern of all these agents uh, crit uh, film critics film programmers uh, even teachers when they they uh, when they are in the in the teaching or, or learning situation with students and and yes this is uh, one thing that I think we should also discuss maybe this um, this part that that we don't even uh, we don't even uh, accept at the end in in these systems. Mm -hmm. yes. And can, can I ask uh, Manuel uh, yes. what kind of film or yeah what type of film do you think does possibly get excluded mm. from 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 these systems? Yes, yes. This is the this is the the big question. Uh, I think that uh, films that 
come without uh, any pedigree, any reference. Sometimes um, the, 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 the processes of the festivals, the selection processes, as you know, and it's, they are quite different from festival to festival, but uh, all festivals has, uh, have their, their own processes. Um, it makes very, very difficult. I think it's always related with time. Um, there are some films that uh, that uh, have a lot of problems to 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 get uh, the attention to to to, to uh, that the 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 people uh, give enough time to them. Uh, they are like uh, they they appear appear too 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 quickly, so to so to say, and uh, and they disappear also too too quickly. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, and yes, it's, 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 really, it's really difficult. Yes, I, of course, I could give examples, no? that, that films that are not uh, very well known. And there are, I, I don't think there are, uh, uh, there, there are not good ways to, to, to look at, at these films. Uh, at the end, you, you have to, to, to rely on your subjective, on your personal way of uh, knowing these these films, of course, then you you, you are very uh, very limited by by this uh, by, by these things, and um, and and that gives, of course, a kind of uh, repetition in the in the whole system and, uh, and and the same names and films that come uh, all all the time. But I'm I'm trying to think about these very really fragile films. Films make uh, almost with with uh, with with not that much with with no a lot of money. Of course, of course, this is impossible for some kinds of films and for the Sundance uh, interests. I, I suppose it's 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 impossible, but, but not for most of the of the bubble we are we are in the, the bubble Mariano say no, but because in some of the festival or, or schools or some of the places we, we write for or some of the places where we can uh, show our films, uh, we, could, uh, we could show these kind of films. Uh, we could write about these kind of films and we do it, of course, sometimes. Um, uh, but, um, but I don't know if we, 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 we give enough attention to, to, this, to these films, to, to more fragile films, even sometimes like Amateurs films or films made uh, very quickly or made uh, mm, in a less crafted way sometimes, but uh, well with um, with with things within them that are very 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 precious. Of course, Mariano's uh, Mariano's uh, story in a way, uh, historias extraordinarias. Of course, it's it's not a, a film like this, the, the the production, but it's also a wild. Uh, a wild film in that in that sense. It, it was that uh, at the beginning, and it was a film without with a very uh, special or erratic or or wild distribution, and, uh, and 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 it was a film without uh, international distribution mostly, you know, and then uh, without any DVD edition until a lot of years later that we they did this. Uh, Crazy thing of of publishing the the, the DVD of Stress Extraordinarias, uh, even together when when I was in, and but it was a film a, a little like this. It was a very very important film, a film that showed that that uh, you could make a huge thing uh, out of these systems. Of course, there are more films like this, no? But uh, but 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 at the same time, it's true that for many many years it. It has uh, its importance, this film, but at the same time, it was not very, not as uh, as uh, yes as appreciated as I think it, it deserved. So, well, these are some some questions. Yes, related to this other part of the of the question, not the modeling one, but the the really like uh, carved part of the of of of, of yes of these films. But but let, let me yes. add something because um, at that point we'll be uh, on the topics where the films are already made 
in the sense that precious fields which they didn't have the 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 lack enough or the proper moment to be found and and then they are hidden and there are many hidden films and not only amateurs films not even fragile films even sometimes films made by big authors but they are not being chest chastened by film festivals so if there is no a pope who said this is the film that we have to put the films it's not on the stream, you know, in that sense. But let's go back a step before, which is the moment that new filmmakers are being learned. They are, they are being taught. They are going to certain places. They maybe have done three, four shorts, but they begin going to the places that you are teaching, in fact. Mariano has been um, working as a, as a script doctor, for instance, yeah. in many cases. And, uh, and then I see that there's certain kind of vocabulary, certain kind of ideas that there should be and there should be. For instance, at the moment that Mariano Ginas' Historias Extraordinarias was, was out, I remember that the big, big dogma during those times that was voice over was something that a filmmaker shouldn't do it. And the whole film is based on voiceover. So this type of, of small details, which shapes cinema nowadays, and, and, and it's, it's amazingly, you, you see a Filipino film, you see an Argentinian film, you see a, a Ukrainian film, wherever, and you will find, if you put attention enough, how the carving has been done certain kind of camera movement, certain kind of sound style, certain kind of chromatic uh, decisions. And when you find something which is absolutely different, you realize immediately, but immediately, there is a singularity. And the singularity is not always, not always at something connected with, with personal um, uh, expressions. It could be a tradition behind the filmmaker. When you see a Romanian film, it, it's quite clear that maybe you like or not. Then there is this, the personal, the personal uh, um, uh, express, express, expression from each filmmaker. But you find something that protects from the, the Caribbean. I don't know if you understand what I mean. We do, we do. But in, in, that, in that case, what, what would be the problem if, if the, what, what you're describing, if, if I have understood well is that many pictures are made without uh, thinking or, or are like ruled by some kind of uh, general ideas or ideas that have been established but they are not they, they, they avoid particularity right except the good ones and I believe that that's not, it's not that new, that, that way of making pictures or, or making objects of, of art. Most of them are made in a, some kind of a stream of, of ideas or, or, or accept, uh, aspects of their craft. And some, sometimes a different one appear. It's not that uh, new. It's it's always been like that, you know. For example, as, as you said, I, I have been uh, I have worked in the pitching industry, and I have worked also in the as, as a script doctor and everything. And I have experienced this kind of dullness about the, the languages and the and the setting of of, a, of of an aesthetic, if we can call it so. Forgive me, great masters of the ancient Greece, but. The truth is, no, but almost nobody believe in 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 all the in all the game. They're just there because it's their way of getting somewhere else to of of existing, right? They are there because they want to be part of something. So the point is not that they are being like brainwashed or something. Perhaps some of them are the most mediocre one ones are brainwash and, and and they are set in a way i i have seen that too in in, in as, as as the the places 
are to get more money, the, the brains become more, uh, I don't know, more tamed, of course, but it has always been like that, once again. The point is not about, about taming or not taming the people, but the point is that those people, those filmmakers, should be making pictures, not learning how to speak about future pictures. That's the point. Why, are, why they are not doing their pictures? Since they can, because our days to make a picture is easier than ever, right? We, we can, they can do it instead of being there uh, in some kind of a, in international promenade speaking lies to everyone. And, and so that's the point. Why? It's not that they are, what, what they get into the labs and everything, but why are they there and why aren't they, why, why they are not shooting? I think that's the main problem and, and, and I have no answer for that, but I, I believe that we, we shouldn't be that concerned about the, the stupid lies that are, that are said in those uh, sessions, because nobody, I believe, uh, thinks that they mean nothing, especially the ones who participate in them. Perhaps the, this so-called expert in pitching, they have to speak, but well, once again, uh, there are people that are earning their money and we can judge them, I think, but it's not that serious. It's that's the conclusion I've I've I've, I've read to. No, nobody cares about that. It's all about keeping cinema alive in some kind of silly tricks. You mean you know? But the point is why they well, why they they don't shoot more pictures? Mm. It's possible. What do you think? Let me jump in here. Uh, I, I I agree with uh, with what you say there, Mariano. Uh, uh, for instance, in the country where I I come from, Australia, uh, and all during the the nineties, the nineteen nineties, and much of the two thousands, I all of the filmmakers that I personally knew were in this position where precisely what you say they 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 weren't making films. They 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 couldn't sort of get the resources together to make a film. They were mainly in this endless kind of turnaround of presenting their projects, uh, rewriting their projects, uh, and, of course, they're dealing with funding bodies, you know, uh, a government group that, that, that funded cinema and for a long time in Australia and still today. It's films are basically kind of government-funded, particularly if they're independent films. Mm -hmm. And um, But you went into this sort of turnaround situation for 10 years where a filmmaker could have one script going around for 10 years, you know, yeah. getting rewritten, experts brought in. I remember once when uh, a very interesting man, Frank, Frank Daniel, a kind of script guru, script writing guru, was brought to Australia to talk to us, you know, 10 of us in a room about how to write a script and, you know, how to write a script the way Billy Wilder wrote a script. And, you know, I mean, it was all very interesting. Um, but it was just another wheel, another turn of the wheel of development, waiting and, you know, pitching and everything. And one of the, I think one of the serious things about the culture of pitching uh, is precisely that the most important thing that you have to reduce your film to is its plot, you know, is its story. And can you give the story the hook in a good pitch? And as we all know here and many others know, you know, story is often not the most important thing in a film. You know, plot is not always the most important thing. There's a, you know, there's 50 other levels of film form, of, you know, film mood, film atmosphere, performance of the actors that, that doesn't necessarily have anything much to do with the plot or it, it can have all sorts of relations to plot. But to reduce a film to a story uh, and then to sell the story, you know, to pitch the story and, and it's it's not, to some... Not, allow, allow me to say something, Professor. It's not sure. just the plot. It's something worse than that. It's the motivation. That's, that's, mm -hmm. that's worse, worse, because it, it, it does not refer to the picture. They have to, to make some kind of a, of a bullshit... Uh, 
thing about themselves regarding some, some kind of crap that nobody believes in. And, and, and it's worse than the plot, but because the plot at least is related to the picture. But yes. The <laughs> yes. I mean, it, it, it's characters, it's actions. It, it has something to do with, cine, with cinema. Sure. Of course, it's not the picture, but it has to do something with the picture. But the motiva personal motivation, nobody, nobody believes in that. I, 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 yes, mm. uh, last week I was in a, in a picture with which I had a co-ride with, with some guy and, and, and I met him in one of these labs. And he said, uh, I, I listened, it, it was some kind of a Western picture with horses and, 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 and big landscapes and horizons. And he pitched in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a lab, he was pitching. And, I, and he said, well, I believe that this picture should be done because the, the, the story of Chile, it's a story of lies and an and, and truth and everything. And I said, this guy is speaking bullshit. And I said, "You're speaking bullshit. You're not. You you don't want to make this picture because you the, the, the untruth and, and and the story of what you 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 want to shoot horses. You want to shoot a a, a, a western picture, isn't it? So yes. So mm -hmm. do a western picture. Make a big go go outside. Make it. Uh, learn how to make a to, to to frame a big horizon. Learn how to how, learn the stuff." So that's the point, I think. Sorry by the interruption, but I think that the personal shit is quite more uh, harmful for pictures than the, than the plot. I, have, of mm. course, agree that the plot is not the picture, but at least it has something to do with it. But sure. the, the, the psychological statements, come on. Yeah. And, you know, as a, and also on that level, Mariano, not only sort of psychological motivation of the maker but the sort of the supposed sort of social worth of 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 this motivation you know i want to make a film about decolonization of the peoples of this country or another you know i want to tell the story of my people and you know all this kind of thing is um this is is where the bullshit uh, comes in um or uh, you know some some level of bullshit comes in and just to finish my point before we, we go on about this reduction of plot. Now, as Mariana rightly said, plot is at least one aspect of the film. But I think it, it is especially difficult on, on non-fiction filmmakers like documentary, essay and so mm -hmm. on. Because as any documentary filmmaker will tell you now, it's impossible to pitch documentaries. If, if there's something is going to unfold in a documentary, mm -hmm. something you cannot foresee, you can't put the bloody narrative arc on it from the word go. You can't say this will be the story of a struggle and a, and a success and a winning of a, of a position. And a, you, know, you, you can't tell the story if, if the reality hasn't yet unfolded, you know. What you could set up is is what situation you want to go into and how you want to film it and how you want to work with people uh, in this non-fictional situation. But it seems to me that kind of film is it's precisely what Manuel's saying, that when the carving kind of goes and things are excluded, it's the things that cannot be foreseen in terms of, of, mm. of story that mm. are falling out faster than anything else. Yes, <clears throat> it's very interesting. And I, I was also thinking that um, it's not only the plot that, as Mariano said, is related to the, to the film, but it's the idea that um, in certain kind of films, with, with this idea, it's an idea which I don't uh, agree absolutely, but, but I, I think it's very, very common maybe in, in, in many, many, many films we, we, we see now. It's the idea that there will be something like the discourse or like the plot that you will explain <laughs> after the screenings. It's not the plot, of course, it's, it's more related with this kind of social or any kind of explanations that you will give after the film is made, not, not before just to, to, to make it even in a fiction film, or, but uh, all the discourse that you can count on uh, after the film um, I I feel that for many filmmakers now, this is a, a, a part of the of the work to, to be done. That this is a part of the of the film at the end. But this produces a very specific kind of films. Most of the time, bad films for me, <laughs> because they lack 
that much things. Uh, well, and of course, we we admire a lot of films that lack a lot of things, but 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 a very some very important things maybe that make them like a kind of a support for for something else that probably is these these speeches, and uh, it's it's difficult and 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 yes, I think that that gives a kind of style in 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 a way. Uh, and we could also talk about um, uh, some, I think it would be related with this. Uh, many times I think about that, uh, a, 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 a separation between, between what is uh, said more than heard in, in a film and what you, what you see most of the time, that could be a very good uh, way to, to compose a film, but in, in a completely, uh, in a specific way, like uh, like in, in these terms of support for for something that most of the time is the is the discourse, it's the, the speeches. Mm. Yes. It, it comes from cricket, isn't it? The expression. <laughs> it's from cricket that it comes, or not? Yes. Pitch. Mm. Isn't that so? You 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 uh, perhaps. Adrian is, is the more is the, the proper one to be asked because you, you play cricket in Australia, don't you? We sure do. We we worship it like a religion, and um, no, so it, it, it comes from cricket. It's not the, the pitch, the pitch situation. Or, yes, or the, the, the act of pitching. So it doesn't refer to a field. It doesn't refer to an object of a pitch. It refers, and nor does it refer to tar, which is also a pitch. But uh, it refers to the act of pitching. So so it means you know throwing a ball, you know throwing a thing, and then somebody catches it and says. Hey, good, you know, good pitch. Good the catch. point so is that perhaps we, we should understand the whole system uh, regarding the, the, the whole structure of the game, isn't it? Because they have to, they have to, to I, I'm not a, a cricket expert, of course, I'm, I, but <laughs> they, they have to, to put the, 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 the how, is, how are they called, the, the whippet, whip, wickets or whippets, they, they, they should the, be. The wickets, yeah. Wickets put down, and then people would start to run. It's quite like the system of of of. Uh, <laughs> it just it's not just about the, the 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 pitching, but the whole game of cinema. That's right. It's yeah. It's the it's whole system good. of uh, of yeah. frantic movements <laughs> yes, <and then laughs> around a sort of a well pitched waiting, ball. We're waiting with the bat to 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 to. to shoot the ball i don't know how would it, it would be interesting to make some kind of an essay about how the, the cricket has shaped it, it would be surprising yeah you're absolutely right well sorry about this sport uh detour you were saying mariano that uh, that nobody cares at the end of the day on one hand, I would I go, I, I go along with that, but on the other hand, I don't. What I mean I don't is that I think filmmakers are somehow being pushed to not only to seduce, to speculate. And, um, and there's certain moments when you began, when you begin in this uh, going from one place to another, going from a lab to another lab, and nowadays, it's not even the lab. It's the inspiration moment when you get um, a residency. So the whole stuff is ready. You know, residency, pitching, and then the, the shaping, then the, film, the, 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 the opening film in the film festival and so on. But I mean, <clears throat> when you begin from one step to the other, sometimes what I realize that filmmakers, they forget what they wanted to, to shoot. Because after three years from going from one place to the other, even if they don't forget, they are not connected anymore with the need that they have at that moment. So sometimes I have realized that some filmmakers, they, they keep the idea of what they, because they began presenting the, the, press, the, the project and then the project is not anymore the one, the one that they want to do. And then they do what they want to do, betraying the, the original project. But that is... But that's not. I'm not, only sure. The, I'm not sure, Roger, uh, about no? that. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, this time, I don't. Uh, I've, uh, I've shared that opinion many, many years since the beginning of the game. 
of the pitching thing. But now I think that that they, they do what they want. They 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 do what they, they want to be there. They want to to go to the residence and to be considered a filmmaker before making the pictures. Well, yeah, I, I agree with that absolutely. So so it's not. But the, I but I mean you the, know the, the system a... provides what the picture makers want. It's not that the the, the picture is escaping. If if they probably these people who apply to the to the residences and everything, if they wouldn't be there, they wouldn't be making pictures instead. They would be, I don't know, doing something else, but not making pictures. If you, uh, nobody can take you from making pictures. No residents, no, no pitching, no promenading around the world, and and having your breakfast in in the in the four seasons and everything. They, it, it's nothing that can get you out of making the pictures if if that's what you want. They don't want to make pictures. They just want to to live the some kind of a fashionate life uh, all around and because it's some people do like that and there are so of course there are people who are in between who are seduced by that by, by such <clears throat> such a life but they still have the the i don't know the call if, we, if you allow me to be a little solemnistic but and they that, 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 those are the good ones Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm perhaps I'm turning to to the to the right, some kind of a Darwinistic situation, but uh, that's what I think. I don't think that we, that we are a lot of small victims of, of of one system. I think that the system. No, no I, I don't. I, I don't think about. Uh, I'm not thinking. And what I was saying was not in terms of victim to be a victim. Yes, it's, yes. It's it just to be. It's it, it just to be becoming part of a of a game. Um, and somehow it's just a game, you know. I, and of course, but this is the rules of the game. That's so to speak. But the one who da, the one who did the rules of the game was not doing pitching. But he, but he was the. But he had a, a wealthy father, and a talented one, and a talented one too. So the the, and, and perhaps he was. And you know what? If he would have to be in the situation of pitching, he would be a magnificent one. And we would see if uh, the, the tape of Jean Renoir's pitching, as we see now his interview with uh, with Rivet when he talks about the 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 yeah yeah the, I understand the pottery. You. He would be he would be great, you know. It doesn't matter that he was pitching or not. He was speaking, he was thinking, and he was acting freely. The problem is not about the pitching. The problem is that, 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 that people pitch bullshit. It's not the pitching, it's the ball. But let me put it again in something that you said again, and, you know, that I, I, and I will stop speaking so much. I'm when not sure said, about what I'm saying. Eh? No, I'm no, just no, 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 no. But I, I'm, I'm trying to. Th we are trying to think in together, which is the most difficult yeah. thing. It's not just to say, I say this, you say that, and, and go home. We are trying to think something which is going on. That is the main yeah. reason of the round table. That's it. Let's think this. Maybe there is that guy, when when he speaks in a in a pitching session, he's speaking from what he really wants, what he really. He has done a film, she or he has done a film, and therefore he's in the second moment in his career and he needs some money to, to improve what he does. And that is the proper moment that maybe, not only in terms of seducing, the whole system can swallow him or her. And that is a problem. And I see that problem because I have seen many filmmakers that then you see their first film and then you see the second film, see what has happened. I don't want to give names, but it's. I have 20 cases if you want to say. I don't know. Uh, yeah, just keep on. Right. Of course, yes, that's correct. Uh, that's the. But I don't know if. If we should blame the system. I'm not so sure of that. Um, it's, Maybe we it's, don't have to blame, but we have to think. Because if we don't think, 
the the game goes on. You know, that's the problem. For me, it's not to it's not a question of blaming. It's a question of understanding in order to open up possibilities. It's the same in the sense that when we are looking for a film which has not been cur uh, curved by all the system. And sometimes I, maybe we want a film curved by this system, but a good one. You know, it's, it's all... <laughs> Yes, and there are a lot of systems that could uh, carve in a mm, incredible way, like I don't know yeah. the Hollywood system or the system yeah. that Max Sennett invented in the in the in, in, in the at the beginning of the century to make films in a more improvised way, a more quick uh, way. But it was at the end uh, a kind of improvisation system, also a kind of system, oh, and a lot, a lot of uh, different systems that could. But maybe the problem is that it's not that so good uh, tradition that of the of the of the of the pitchings no that there are some some uh, yes some um, it's a situation that it's difficult for filmmakers to develop uh, things within it or or something like that yes uh, it, it could be also a good uh, a good tradition and also there is another thing that i was thinking about i don't know what what you think but it's the thing that of course, we are in this problem of tradition and, and, and originality or ruptures, ruptures of the of the tradition. And of course, we all we all uh, tend to, to 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 give value to the ruptures. So then, when we have one tradition, it's difficult to to think about the good things of the tradition. So to so to say, because we tend to 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 to, to find the the. the the, the exceptions of this of this tradition. I don't know if I'm clear enough, but but it's a thing that that I think it's interesting to 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 think because what what that happens. But that's 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 true. That's that's all the time. All the, so we are blaming on on traditions, but uh, but but yes, it's it's also natural. I think that that we do so because we we always uh, look for the exceptions, really. So I don't know. Let let me say something. For, for let me give you an example. For example, I I I, I would work in a in a lab. Let's not give names once again. But it was mm. a good one, I think. And it was in a three part lab. It it it, it or or two at, at later. It was, for example, one meeting in one country in June and another meeting in another country in. September, let's say that. And in the first uh, meeting, I would ask the people, the, 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 the people who were there, who had applied, to bring shots of their picture. That, 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 so, so go out and shoot, bring a sequence. I, I, I would ask specific, specific things of, of each one. And at the beginning, most of them felt like injuriated what like what well shoot go and shoot uh, shoot this for for example there's a sequence of uh, of a race of a car race go and shoot cars and races and bring them and we're going to talk about your stuff at the beginning they felt like offended <laughs> most of them but some of them would understand like the challenge of that not all but some and they came most of them like like if they had uh, been i don't know if, as if they have lost their virginity you know and some not many of them would not do their homework would say, well, I couldn't because it was very difficult to get the camera and this and that and that and that. So for the good ones, they enjoy, they, they feel like a relief in the fact of going away and shooting. The bad ones would prefer staying there and speaking and talking bullshit about future pictures that probably will never get made. So I believe that the, the I'm not so sure that the system is not able to provide ways of, of for freedom you see mm -hmm. of course i have been once I, i've been the, the the pitching thing once just once 
I'm not going to give names, but it was called the Biennale College in Venezia, in Venice. We were in Italy, and we, as, as here, that we are speaking uh, in English, even if we were in, in, in a not English country. But the point is, it, we, we are speaking because one of us does not speak Spanish. But there, we were, we all would speak, but the, the Italians, for example, would not accept us to speak Italian because they, we should speak English. We should speak English. And that was like being uh, <coughs> one week in the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> that was the CIA, you know, that, that was like people telling us, well, you should that, you should do that. You, don't say that. Don't say that. Do not say no, for example. They, they said that. Well, well, this picture is not, don't say no, don't say <laughs> this picture is not. Well, I, I, let me continue. No, because you're not, you said what your picture is, not what your picture is not. It's a way of, 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 of speaking, it's a way of expressing it. Perhaps in our language, we usually do that. No, because they are going to believe that you don't, nothing. You, you Let's be positive. That kind of, 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 of sectarist, I don't know, Charlie Manson way of thinking, of course, that exists. But then again, it's because there was a lot of money engaged. So when there's a lot of money, money gets her, uh, his uh, clerks around, you see. <laughs> and so when there are clerks who, who, who administrate the thing, of course, mediocrity takes the place. When there's less money, Perhaps the clerks are less straight, if you mm. know what I mean. Mm. But the point is that it's all about getting pictures done. Mm. Maybe I can jump in here. And uh, 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 I mean, of course, there must be many different kinds of, of film labs in, in various parts of the world. And uh, I mean, I'm an outsider to that world. I've never been invited to be to participate in a, in a film lab, even though maybe they should invite some critics. Maybe, maybe they sometimes do. Uh, I know, for instance, David Boardwell was invited to be part of the uh, of the Venice uh, uh, of, of the Biennale that uh, Mariana was just talking about, as a someone who reacts to projects and and uh, reacts to the finished films and so on and so forth. But what I wanted to say about it is that you know a, a lab which is basically you know. A group of, of of inputs and and like exercises and provocations, just like what Mariana is saying. You know, go out and film this scene, or film film cars, film horses, film the landscape in the way that you're thinking about. You want to do that for your project. You know, these are all positive things. You know, these could be enriching or not. You know, they they could be they could lead to something or not. You know, but it could be a good exercise, right? And if it's you know, if, if I was a filmmaker in a lab and I knew that, you know, Mariana would speak to me on Monday and Simon Liang was coming in on Wednesday and, and Roger Kotha is coming in on Friday and, you know. What a week, Gordon, what a week. Yeah, yeah. and, uh, you know, this would be great. I mean, you know, I'd get all these different views, reactions, responses, very different from each other. That's great. But what's not great is when it becomes... It, there's a certain kind of funnel that comes through, for instance, all of the manuals, the written books about how to write screenplays, you know, which gives you the laws of how to write a screenplay. Mm -hmm. And these things are so determining on on definitely some development processes of, of some labs. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it, you know, back to the Sundance example, for instance. You know, things that go on about the bloody three acts and, the, you know, what has to happen every 10 minutes and you've got to like and relate to your main character and, you know, all the crap, you know. We all know it's it's rubbish. But that's the kind of thing, you know, that, that, that you know, starting with the manuals and then going through, you know, the, the certain kinds of more authoritarian kinds of teaching that say this project is not working because it doesn't have a proper third act and uh, we can't relate to the main character and there are too many characters and all these, these crap, you know, kind of um, edicts, these, these rules, these laws actually about what is a well-made and well-written film because so much of this comes down to work on the script 
And here I am completely with Mariana that it's more important to go out and film something than it is to spend 10 years rewriting your script, you know. The, the great uh, Chilean-born director Raul Ruiz once said to me, you can write a script if you want, but you don't have to write a script. <laughs> he said it's more important to, to film, you know, and Raul himself always had his little video cameras. He was always filming everything. And, you know, just like Jonas Mikas did, just like a whole lot of, you know, really important filmmakers have done, they're collecting material in any way they can, you know, sound, image, whatever, writing notes, doing drawings, you know, what, whatever, you know, and it's that material, it's working, processing, working through that material that leads to to a work finally, to, to a work, you know. But this notion that there are going to be laws that sort of clamp down on a, on a, a written scenario, I mean, that is the most sort of retrograde tendency. But when it comes to things like, you know, governments in various countries putting money into, you know, laboratories and so on, this is the kind of thinking that there are laws for the well-made film. This is the kind of thinking that, that sometimes rules. And uh, that's something that really does need a kind of, you know, to be hit at the knees, really, and, uh, and very heavily uh, critiqued, I think. But you know what? <clears throat> you know what? I've been saying that. I've been being like shown as, as, as though if I was a phenomenon in, 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 uh, from, from the South Seas, you see, in a, in a cage, promenaded from one festival to the other, to say specifically what you said. Like the phenomenon who made pictures without money and without uh, producers and without everything. Like, come and see, come and see. And I would, I would sit in front of them, and I would say, "You can make your pictures freely. All this, <laughs> all the system are lies. All the system are is, is is pure bullshit. You can do whatever you want, and you can be free. I've made pictures of fourteen hours, forty hours. I am going to like, like in a circus. It's, it's like a circus, you see, like like a, a some panel. And I would do that, and I would get my money by by doing that show, of course, for many years. I I, I hope." To keep on doing it because one needs to get their, I don't know, to pay the, the rent, right? Mm. But they don't want that. Mm. It's not that they feel, perhaps they smile and they say, well, that's very, uh, that's very daring. And well, but then they want to do the things the system. Uh, tells them to do them. They, they don't want to get into that big ball, you know. That's that's the truth. Most of them. The ones who, who, who want to, to do things that way, they are doing them. They are not in that, in that uh, lab. They are doing pictures. They don't want... It's not that we, that we uh, free their spirits by saying, you can do whatever you want. They just listen, they smile, they ask you questions, but then they choose the most traveled path. I, that's mm. my experience, my disappointing experience. I'm sorry to, I don't know, to bring this into the table, but they prefer some more shaped path, you know, the, 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 the path of, of a system that would, they don't want to make five pictures in, 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 in one, in, in, in five years. They want to make one picture in five years and and mm. be like other, be like any other, you see. And they are in a, in a way they are right, because as Roger said, uh, my, I did the, the big flower thing, and then after that flower thing, I've done three, four pictures, smaller, of course. I like them as I like the the the, the, the big one. For me, are as important as it is, or maybe more in some cases. But nobody cared about them. Yes, some did, but nobody gave their, their importance as the, the, the La Flor. It's all right for me because I've done, I'm, I'm, I'm done as a picture maker. I'm, 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 I don't have to get the attention of everybody. I don't care about that. Or eventually I will or the pictures will. But for someone who is just starting, attention is much more important. 
and it's a way of getting some attention, I believe. So it's a little bit more complex. Uh, uh, this is what I get after promenading, doing the, the speech, the Martin Luther King speech of, of cinema, you know, it's something with which I, I find it's much more complex. It's not that I say, free yourself, uh, go against the system. They prefer that and they have their reasons probably. Mm. I don't know what do you think, Roger? Is that putting you in a particular? Are you? Do you agree or not? I, I, I can't. I can think paradoxically. I don't need to define myself in one place or the other. I think uh, that things that you said that I, I agree and I understand from where you are saying what you are saying and uh, my. <laughs> My, my, it's it's a complex moment, Be, because as you said, there are many people. It's easier to shoot, but at the same time, it's it's more difficult to to be a filmmaker in certain ways. It's more difficult to show. It's it's easy to shoot, but it's difficult to show. And, and then to show, and um, I, I will, yeah, I would like also to. It's interesting what you're saying. That, that, that's what's what is difficult because to, to project pictures is easy. To to you can put your picture in YouTube, for example, and everybody. But the, the, the what's the difficult thing? The attention mm -hmm. to get attention to 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 get the people to be like interested in what you're doing in a particular way interested enough to 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 watch a whole picture from the beginning to the to the end that's the most difficult thing it's not about money it's about attention it's about fiction you have to make some kind of a fiction thing to get people to watch your work because if not they are not doing it you have to make a 14 hour picture <laughs> not a short one why would they see another short picture of about one hour and 30 it's, it's a difficult way it's a it's a it's a difficult situation you're right Roger sorry for the interruption I was thinking sorry but I think it's related with this um, I was thinking about a film which is almost an, a performance and it's a 70s film so maybe the situation is not uh, as new which, which of course you know which is numero uh, zero numero zero de Jean Ostache which is uh, uh, it's almost a performance because it's it's a story really what what he made for me and he also gave some interviews uh, which in this case are very important because the, in those interviews he explains what he tried to make with uh, numero zero and what he tells is that he was completely completely exhausted of the success the rel relative success he he got with uh, some of his films maybe not the films he wanted to, to, to make because he started to make these short documentary films which were funded by, by, by the state and, and he, he managed a, a system to produce in a regular basis and even win some prizes and have some good critics and he started to make and he, 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 he tells everything in, in, in these interviews uh, he started to make uh, all the time the same thing but it wasn't what he wanted to, to do. He wanted to do something different. And the most important thing is that he he, he shoot very, very few. He, he, he made short films, so he shoot like one week maybe each year or each two years or something. And, and he was so maybe depressed by that. So he imagined a system to, to, uh, to, to, to shoot much more. Um, and what he what he do, what what he tried to do was was that no this uh, numero zero which was supposed to be the first film of a series of, of, of films you all know the story no but just to 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 to, to, uh, to make like a, a resume and um, and but this film was to be shot in a very quick way also in, in one day it was just a story told by her, his uh, grandmother to to him. So he shoot the film um, in continuity, as you know. Uh, so the shooting lasts the same time of the of the film, like two hours maybe, or something something else. Because well, the film had two different versions, but 
And but, but then it was the interesting thing. He made this and he said, then I'm going to make numero one, numero deux, numero trois. I'm going to make a lot of films like this. I have made the film in one day. I have finished the film almost in one day. And then I'm going to make something. I'm not going to show this film almost to nobody. I'm showing this film to 10, maybe 20 persons in Paris, good friends, some filmmakers, uh, people who, whose opinion I, I care about. I'm showing this film. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure that this film is very important and this film should be uh, recognized as, as a very important film. And, and these people is going to recognize this film as, as such. But then I'm not showing the film to anybody uh, unless they fight for the film to be shown. And, and for this film to be shown, they have, they have, they, 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 they'll have to invest something. Mm. They'll have to invest a lot, really. Vincent Gallo is making something in a way uh, similar. I'm not showing this film. I'm keeping this film in my house. And I'm not showing to, to, to nobody. And at the end, the film was, wasn't showed. Maybe nobody was as... as, as but he, he said that. He said that he was tired that, that the film was for, some, for everybody. And that nobody had to to invest something in, in that process. And um, he said that, he said, this film in the future, and maybe this is also something that, that is very critical in this performance Janostas made, but because he was, he was counting with, the, with time again, with, 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 with the future, <laughs> which of course is not a very good thing to pay the bills, Mariano, I, I, I know. But he was also saying this, no, that at the end, uh, Mm, uh, films need also this time to 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 say what they are really, and and this is almost a, a impossible problem to to resolve, and and there are a lot of cruel situations we have talked about that films that never were never will be uh, known, and maybe they are they are important. So I don't know that all the films that are important finally they they. They appear, but uh, yes, I, I think it's it, it, it has to be with this story of distribution and, and screenings and, and also the role of the, the critics and yes, I don't know. Um, yes, yeah. yes, it, it is. Uh, that's a lot, and that this is something. This kind of stories sometimes are are forgotten. It doesn't mean that it should be a model because it cannot be a model. And only someone like Jean Storch can do some, maybe that privilege to think in those terms. But at the same time, it's a counterbalance um, story to keep in mind. You know? I, I would like to, I, I, can, I can see that we had been going around uh, and uh, towards a subject which is difficult to catch, but at the same time, certain things has been said, and I think that is, that is what it, it's need to be said. But maybe just we have to think that we have to be close in the, the meeting, and I would like to listen to each one of you, not, the, not conclusions, because it's not what I have in mind. Maybe something else that you think you need to say, or something that you have been thinking on these, not now, maybe before, but you think it's, it could be a, a good moment to, to express in relation to this. I, I'm, I'm really curious to listen once again to Adrian, and then Mariano, and then Manuel, and then to say goodbye, of course. Well, I'll, I'll start off. Um, uh, as you say, not 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 to conclude, not to come up with any summary or conclusion of our of our talk, but um, but you know uh, something that uh, Manuel just mentioned uh, that in part of the whole system, the whole chain, there's the sort of the role of of, of critics, of criticism, uh, of of publishing, film magazines, online criticism, and you know this is a, a, an area in which. You know, we've all seen it, like magazines, whether printed or online, and sometimes very good magazines, some very good writers, very good critics, but very, very quickly sort of sucked into the system of, you know, 
the six major artistic independent films of the year, the same names of undoubtedly good filmmakers coming around and around and around. Um, and it's frustrating. It's frustrating to me as, as a critic and sometimes uh, someone who has worked on editing film magazines and, and that <laughs> whole thing of like just, just needing to burst the bubble. You know, we've talked about this image of the bubble that encloses us and, you know, can, can stifle us and, um, and all these bubbles everywhere. And with this, you know, it, it's, it, it has to be a really concerted effort I think particularly on the part of, of editors of magazines, people who sort of try to create new models of magazines, not to say, okay, we're going to do the, the six films that are going around every festival and it started in Cannes, you know, not to say, and we'll do one or two Hollywood movies, you know, if they're directed by Clint Eastwood and whatever. Uh, you know, we've really got to make an attempt to sort of what, what has fallen, what has been carved out of, of this picture. You know, and to actually go and, and find these things, you know, because one of the most important things about cinephilia as a kind of philosophy is, is precisely discovery, you know, that, that we make the effort to discover something that has been forgotten, uh, as in the Jean Stash story, that incredible, you know, story that Manuel's reminded us of, uh, to remember those stories to, in a way to try to animate ourselves with with. Uh, with things that have fallen by the way. Like I come from Australia. There are so many really interesting independent and experimental Australian filmmakers that, that no one outside of Australia has ever heard of because they never got picked up for, for the system. They never got picked up for the global system of film festivals and so on. And, and I'm sure we all of us have these kinds of stories we can tell, these kinds of examples of very local work, you know, regional cinema that's, that's just never fitted in. And so certainly at the level of critics, criticism, writing, publishing, editing, uh, you know, uh, let's, let's try to refine the, the spirit of, of a true discovery, not just the secondhand kind of taking of whatever is passed to us in the conveyor belt of, of the system. Manuel? Yeah, yes, I just about, yes, I completely agree with, uh, and I can continue, I think, with, uh, with Adrian. And yes, to tell you, uh, I, 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 I play the game you propose, Roger. The, the first thing I, I, I thought when, when you told me about the, the subject of the round table was, I don't know why, but it was a, a, fr a phrase by, um, a sentence by, by a filmmaker very singular, very apart, very one of the most singular filmmakers, I think, in the history of cinema, probably, uh, who, who were in Tui. Uh, that's why maybe I had this, this idea, who, who is Artur uh, Pelekian, Pelekian no? the, the Armenian filmmaker. And he, he talked about uh, one thing that one of uh, his teachers used to, to, to tell him when he, he watched his uh, exercises in, in the Moscow Film School, and he said that this teacher uh, used to tell him, and, and the teacher didn't like, of course, the, the exercises, but he used to tell him, um, uh, your, your, your films are full of mistakes. They live for a very long life <laughs> because they are full of mistakes. Uh, and yes, this is related with, with uh, something that, that Adrian said that, um, we will have to, to define mistakes, no? It's a relative uh, term, of course. But I, I acknowledge that in this uh, work that we are doing in the, in the festival this last year, and it's um, all the committee of the festival, we are new uh, in, uh, in Punto de Vista, and we are also quite new in festival works, so to say, and selections and so on. So I, I acknowledge that the most beautiful thing, of course, is when you find, really find uh, a film, you, discover, well, you are discovered by, by this film, you, are, you discover new things through, through this film, and, uh, and, and it's a film which comes from nowhere, so to say. Of course, it, it, it don't it comes with a presentation. You, you find this in the, in the, in the registrations of the, of the festival. And, uh, and 
yes, I, I don't think this system we are talking about is designed to, um, to make that possible. I think mm. it's almost the opposite. It's designed most of the times. Well, not the opposite, not completely the opposite. I think you can, mm -hmm. yes, of course, you can manage to get in one of these labs. Of course, it will be easier if you know somebody in the lab or in the bubble or in the, but you can finally penetrate this bubble, I suppose, and then you can maybe, but, um, but yes, I, 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 I think that, that this is something we, we should uh, make as much as possible in the different levels we are talking about, of course, in, in, in the criticism, but also in festivals, also in teaching, or in, in all different levels, we should uh, be as, as open as, as possible to, to this. And yes, and also keep in mind that, uh, that this is about uh, filming at the end, as Mariana also, also said, that this is about that film itself, filming, and in a way, in some ways it's easier now, uh, and uh, we could do, we can do, we, we, we also see that all, almost daily, no? that, that we, can, we can also invent other ways of producing, other ways of being together, making films, of, uh, of, 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 of give ourselves the, the freedom to, 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 to film, to shoot in, 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 in different ways. And yes, and, and be as, as apart as possible of some useless distractions. It's, I, I, I come to the beginning, I think it's also a question of time, the time that it's, that it's uh, um, cut from the, from the filmmakers and from the film, film works. Mariano? I was thinking of, of the subject for, for another conversation mesa se dice round, round, round table. table se dice así yeah. bueno, for another round table which is that, that's why the, 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 that's the, the, the thought that came to me uh, in, in, in all this conversation which by the way has been very pleasant for me and very lively and, and, and it made me think think about things that I wasn't thinking before here. It's not that that's very interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm, when I get out, I'll be out with new things. And one of them is other, about a bubble, right? Other boundaries inside, inside that bubble? Are, are there sides? Are we on the same side? For example, critics and filmmakers are we on the same side or we are not and we are in different sides we are struggling once against the other are, are we both in the same side against the audience or not are we the same is is cinema a territory that is in dispute by these different tribes of course we 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 filmmakers are not always on the same side but perhaps sometimes we should be or not. That's interesting because when we say the word cinema, are we speaking about the same? That would be uh, an interesting round table or not to speak about the, are we on the same side, Fox, or not? Do, is, is, is it that we want the same? What do you think? Let's do it. <laughs> Are you in? Sure. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Let me in. Yes. Um, what do thinking. you think, Roger? G give me your, 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 your superficial answer right now. What do you think? Are we on the same side or not? For me, we are on the same side, but sometimes, sometimes but, we may, sometimes no, we may but, not. yes. But the problem is that there are some people who are filmmakers who are in the other side from from where you think filmmakers are, and the same with film critics, film critics, the same with certain kind of academics, and again with director, artistic director from film festivals. So you say it's a moral side. It's I not a, a it's, moral. It's a, side. It's a what about the craft. It, it is not yes it's not about the craft it's about yes, but i don't i wouldn't use the word moral 
but it's a it's a position. It's a position in the way moral. that you understand cinema. Yes, let's but, use the word moral. Why okay, not? Let's, let, no, not because it's sometimes moral. it's it's not enough. Oh, well, it's, uh, <laughs> but it's like that because I can feel like there is certain kind of common common ground. I don't yes common ground between filmmakers, directors, film criticism and. But the, the big surprise will be that on the other side, you will find film critics, <laughs> directors, and filmmakers, and, and, and so on. And that is the paradox. It's but at the, end, at the end, what we are looking for is a certain kind of freedom in cinema, and a cinema which keep, keeps alive the, what cinema has brought us and has given to us, because... We all know that what we have experienced through Bresson, Pelichan, uh, Renoir, Dreyer, uh, Fabio, whoever you want to, 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 to express and to, to bring in, is what... I see many sides in that list, Roger. Yes, many sides in that list. But in that list, I am, I'm, that's, that's, that's home. And it could be Carpenter also and some other people, you know. It's not a question of mentioning names. But you know what I mean. Yes, I do. Okay, fellows, it has been a pleasure to be with you, Adrian. You know how, what I think and I feel towards you, also Mariano, also Manuel, and also the people to, from Paydoc, who they are, they, they are like Punto de Vista. They, I think they makes the difference towards the ecosystem of film festivals, and they do not deny the possibility to think about what they are showing. And nowadays, some film festivals, they are lacking of, of thinking, not only showing, it's only thinking and showing, thinking and cinema. And, and I think Playdog plays that. Thank you so much for your time, for your generosity. And I hope to see you soon in the next round table that Mariano has uh, proposed. Thank you so much. For <laughs> yes, good idea. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody. Bye bye, my friends. Bye, thank you.